this is a chocolate bunny, like the kind you'd see around Easter time, but with one small change. My ears. And no, that wasn't a cheap editing trick. This actually works. Why though? Why not? You can't stop me. We're on the internet. The secret is edible electronics. You didn't already know, normal electronics are full of lead. After going to school in Flint, I've kind of reached my lifetime limit for eating toxic metals. We need to get a signal from this Arduino through a wire and back. When the wire breaks, the Arduino will know the rabbit was bitten and play screams through a speaker. Unfortunately, normal chocolate isn't conductive, like this piece of copper is. Edible wires? How hard could they be? My first attempt was an unholy mix of goo goo, sunflower oil, and powdered activated carbon. This recent paper claims blending these makes a conductive oleogel. It might look absolutely disgusting, but this paper claims it's edible. Not the actual paper. I'm just avoiding tasting it because it looks like it came out of a horror movie. Meh. Tastes like... nothing. While it is workable on chocolate, this goop is less conductive than my skin. No matter how many samples I tried making, what I did manage to find was a way to get black lung from charcoal as I tried to grind it finer. <laughs> Attempt 2. The cake paint used to make Is It Cake memes. Is this bottle cake? No. No, it's not. It's mostly alcohol, mica powder, and titanium dioxide, which aren't really conductive. Now, silver is conductive, comes powdered, and is safely used in food decorations. In very small amounts. Too much, and you might end up in a chubby emu video. So, I tried adding conductive silver powder in small amounts. Unfortunately, this didn't reach the required iPad kid level of stickiness and wasn't consistently conductive. If I did add enough silver to make it conductive, you would probably end up looking like the love child of Blue Man Group and Smurfette. For try three, I gave up. And used last year's supplies. Silver leaf because I'm too cheap for gold leaf and too smooth brain to chemistry good. I cut the silver leaf into strips and applied them to the bunny. Last year's electronics were looking a little bit sus. Does it explode? So I moved the electronics from a breadboard spaghetti to perf board. I also designed and printed a case to hold them to reduce the chance of SWAT probing my Easter basket. A few pieces of copper tape to connect the Arduino wires to the edible silver leaf and we're done. What have I done? Happy early Easter. Thanks. Am I supposed to eat this? What part of the rabbit do you eat first? The, the ears? Because I'm not a sick freak. My ears! Oh god, you monster! You monster! What the hell? What part would you bite next? But Let's go. Oh. No, no, not my fluffy cotton tail! Why? Why? <laughs> Maybe I could just, just end, end its misery. Those voices you're hearing are strangers from the internet I asked to scream into their mics. My ears! Oh god, you monster! Why? You just did my damn secret spit it out! What do you think? Was that a good Easter gift? <laughs>